With that goal, 10 minutes left, how much composure did he exhibit in front of the net? I mean, he's shown that all year. He's had a lot of opportunities. He's finished some. He's missed some. But having said that, after a long season like this, I think the experience, I think he knew he's got the ability, left or right foot. And obviously their keeper did everything he could to keep it out of it, but found the back of the net. And I'm proud of Chris for, for doing that because we've struggled scoring goals this year. Your team battled back down a goal to finish this thing off 3-1. to one. Why did they have what it takes to finish this game with a victory? You know, we've been down a couple times this year, unfortunately. You know, as a coach, you don't like that, but we've come back a couple times as well. And I think just the experience through the season, knowing that it's a 90-minute game, having said that, we've been up and also lost games. So it's worked both ways, but, you know, come conference time or whatever, with the end of the year when that experience kicks in, I think it did today. Our heads didn't go down, and obviously they hit the post at the end of the game there. So to get the third one was just as important as the second. So proud of the guys, and now it's just a matter of recovery and uh, getting ready for Thursday. Your freshman goalkeeper, Parker Lacklin, able to come up with some pretty big saves to keep you in this one. How would you evaluate his performance here in the tournament, first round of the tournament? Excellent. You know, I mean, he makes some saves. You need your keeper to come up with those one or two big saves a game, and he did that. You know, if a couple of those go in, it could have been a totally different outcome. USF came out and obviously was all we could handle in the second half. Parker was a big part of that, that he stopped and stalled them a little bit. But, you know, you need your keepers to keeper to come up with those saves, and he did, and I'm proud of Parker tonight. You mentioned to me before this game that rest and recovery has been a big part of this for your team the past few days after flying from Tampa back to Memphis and now back to Orlando, but taking on a tough team in SMU on Thursday night. What will be the key to your team coming out with a victory to punch its ticket to the final? Yeah, you know, again, it's rest and recovery. Well, obviously, we we're familiar with SMU. We played them this year. Probably watch a little bit of film and obviously just make sure our guys are recovered. You know, it's not really necessarily tactical or technical. It's just a matter of trying to get back to 100% so we can compete for 90 minutes or 110, whatever it is against a very solid SMU team. Thanks, Coach. Good luck Thursday. Appreciate it.